Right, so in this video, I'm just going to quickly show you and kind of speak to you about the new features of Chimp 26, 18, 12. Uh, I've had to update it uh, because, well, I thought I'd just take the time to do it not properly. It was done properly before, but, you know, make it simpler. Uh, recently, people have been unlocking their master drives. Uh, it's not just one, there's been a few um, who have unlocked their soft-modded Xbox's master drive. Uh, I, I mean, in the video I, I said not to do it, but you know, I had the menu, the option to do it away in another menu. We have to agree and enable stuff, but people still do it. So, I made a disclaimer, which I take no responsibility for what you do. Uh, I also put in that, that do not unlock your master HDD. But I also recognise that people who are t soft or chipped well, might use chimp. So TSOP and chipped users have no no barriers in put in place. So you actually have to physically select that option and you have to pick yes that you did pick it and I agree to the disclaimer as well that you picked that option. So I can't be held responsible for your mistake. Uh, 99% of users or 99.9% .9 of users who use chimp will be soft modded. Uh, chimp was originally made to clone the hard drives for soft modded consoles because there's no easy way of doing it. So most people would use the soft modded Xbox option. You would agree. Then for people that don't read, read disclaimers, yeah, you have to agree to it. So you may as well read it here. But what happens is as soon as you pick yes, the drive is locked and unlocked. Now this takes milliseconds to do. The drive I'm using right now is an old ID drive out of an Xbox. It's 8 gigabyte. Um, that drive can obviously be locked and unlocked, no problem. And if, for whatever reason, you get an error, if you have a DVD drive connected, you will get an error saying that the drive can't be locked. The reason you get that error is because it's a DVD drive, you can't lock DVD drives. So you'll have a limited menu as well in here, because there's no reason why you would be in Chimp, uh, other than to format your extra partitions on your master drive, or that would be the only reason you'd load it if you didn't have a slave drive connected. There's no really any other reason. Uh, for people who have used Chimp 26, 18, 12 before, uh, as you'll see, you know the lock and unlock for the master drive is hidden away in the settings, advanced features. In the soft modded Xbox option, you cannot enable that at all. Uh, for obvious reasons, you should never unlock your master drive in a soft modded Xbox. So I take that whole choice out. So I'll quickly show you what happens when you get the error. So obviously I'm developing this so I can force the error. Um, this is just going to simulate that the current drive that's in the Xbox can't be locked. And this is the option, this is not the option, this is the error you would get. Now if you get this error and you have a slave hard drive connected to the IDE cable, there's nothing I can do. The drive isn't lockable by Chimp. Simple as. Uh, I basically lock the drive and unlock the drive. I use the EEPROM on your motherboard to lock the drive and then I use the EEPROM on the motherboard to unlock the drive. If the lock process fails, you get this error. So therefore Chimp cannot lock the hard drive to your Xbox motherboard, simple as. If that's the case, you get this error. You get these options. Get another drive if you get this error. Or try a different IDE cable. Or if you're using a SATA drive, then I haven't a clue because I haven't come across a SATA drive that can't be locked. So, if you get the error, there's nothing I can do. Um, if you want to tr test things out, so if you get the error and you don't believe me, then you can go into the TSOP and chipped Xbox option 
and you can try locking the drive there. Uh, you won't get the error in that menu because like I said the drive doesn't need to be locked on a TSOP or trip console. But if you want to get in there and waste your time trying to lock the drive then that's fine. It's the same tool I use to check if the drive can be locked as it is the same tool that's used to actually lock the drive. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, it's mainly just back end stuff um, and remove stuff from users so that they don't botch their Xbox. Um, the only reason the TSOP and chipped Xbox option is here is because there might be people out there who actually use this for ch chipped and TSOP consoles. If that's the case then I don't see why I should penalise them. They should be allowed to use it just as anybody else should. So that's why the option is there. But if you're soft modded and you get in here and you start arsing a bit, that's your problem, not mine. You break their console or you arse up your hard drive, it's your problem. Always back up your EEPROM. Always. So if you're soft modded, make sure you back up your EEPROM can't stress that enough. It's your lifeline, you need it. Um, so yeah, anyway that's the kind of recent changes. The downloads in the description, all the links to Chimp 26, 18, 12 has changed to this so you just download it straight from my github. So anyway, uh, yeah that's it. If you use Chimp uh, 26, 18, 12, hopefully it's done you good and it's worked for you and everything's great and you're welcome. Uh, if you haven't, then hopefully you do and again, everything works out for you and it's great. Uh, if you don't plan on using it, then just thanks for watching the video anyway, to the end. <laughs> uh, you may have given up halfway through. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, thanks for everybody for watching. I'm off. Bye-bye.